Hawaii. Some of the cons of working from home. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kate. If you're not, welcome back, welcome to another video. If you guys are new here, I make tons of lifestyle and working from home videos. So if you guys like that kind of content, definitely make sure you subscribe down below. So yeah, with that all being said, let's get into today's video. So today I am going to be taking you through obviously a work day in my life, but we are going to be focusing on the pros and cons of working from home. So I actually got inspired for this video from my friend Rachel Vin. I'll leave her channel below. All credit goes to her, but she did a video, a really fun one, comparing her day as someone who works in the office to someone who works full time from home, one of her friends. And I thought, wow, that was such a great video. I really wanted to just kind of do the same. But tell it from someone who has only ever worked from home. If you guys don't know much about my background, I graduated in December. 2020 with a marketing degree and I work full-time as a digital marketer from home so I've been working full-time for about eight months now and like I mentioned before I've never worked in an office I've only ever known remote work so I am here to tell you all of the pros and cons of working from home so let's just jump straight into it let's discuss obvious work from home pro number one is you get to clearly wear whatever you want to work which is just amazing I work for a very casual kind of digital agency tech company so people in my office wear hoodies uh, well obviously people working from home uh, in my company wear hoodies and t-shirts and yeah I get to dress however I want which is amazing I don't really own any business clothes whatsoever I own one blazer and one pair of business pants so if I ever did have to go into the office I'd need to seriously revamp my whole wardrobe but let me quickly show you today's outfit of the day so Really quick, like I mentioned, I'm able to work from home in just this, which is amazing. I'm just in a pair of black shorts from Princess Polly, this white top from Princess Polly as well, and then I actually am in a pair of slippers from Target because, like I said, we're working from home, so we are trying to be very comfortable and practical while we work from home. So another obvious pro of working from home, as you guys can see, I really don't have a commute time, which is amazing. My commute is from the bed in the morning to my second bedroom, which is also my workstation. So there is virtually no commute time. It means that I don't have to wake up as early in the morning. I can make myself an actual proper breakfast. I can have a coffee, I can sit, and really relax in the morning and not have to stress about oh my gosh I need to get changed I need to look presentable for the office everything like that I really get to just wake up have a coffee make my breakfast and then walk over to the guest room and start my day so it's amazing to say the least I don't have to waste any time in traffic and I don't have to get up any earlier and I don't have to get home any later which is amazing and I did a little bit of work and now it is officially lunchtime. So one of the biggest perks about working from home is the fact that you don't have to pack your lunch. It is so nice and easy and normally we just do leftovers. So we just keep them in the fridge, pop them in the microwave. Today I'm gonna to be just having lasagna that's left over from the night before. Just couldn't get any easier. I'm not someone who could pack an office lunch every single day, either in the morning or at night. I just, I'm just too lazy to do it, to be honest. And it's just the best thing about working from home is being able to get up and get a snack whenever you're hungry. Like probably later this afternoon, I'll make myself a smoothie. And I just loved being able, I just love being able to snack and eat whatever I want and just grab stuff from the fridge um, whenever I'm hungry instead of having to really spend the time like making your meals and everything like that. So, and then obviously with having your lunch break at home, it's different than having a lunch break in the office. Again, I've never really worked in the office, but I have had jobs where, you know, you maybe have a 30 minute lunch break or an hour lunch break and you pretty much spend your time maybe watching YouTube or TV on your phone, you're eating. Really, you can't go anywhere or do much, but being at home, you're able to actually unwind for that hour lunch break that you have. You can make your food, you can sit down, watch TV, watch YouTube, you could film a video if you really wanted to um, just the opportunities are endless you could work out I know my fiance Justin often does his workouts on his lunch break so there's really so much you can do within that one hour and especially 
if you have a gym in your apartment, you know, there's literally no commute and you can just go and do whatever you want for that hour. While I'm on my lunch break, let's just spend some time going through some of the cons of working from home. So I've really only discussed some of the positive things, um, but there definitely are some cons that I find um, working from home is there really isn't much company culture. I know the company I work for, you know, the actual office apparently is really fun. They have like a pool table, they have a beer in the fridge for like, I guess, Friday afternoons. It's kind of supposed to be a more fun atmosphere, but obviously working from home, I've never really experienced that. Sure, we've done some like office, like virtual office Christmas parties, or like Zoom happy hours, but it's really not the same. You don't really get to connect with people and that kind of a thing. So I felt that that's kind of hard to really get to know people while working from home. And then definitely another con would be sometimes it's kind of difficult to get information from some people because sometimes I just want to be able to ask a really quick question. Like it would be so nice to run over to someone's desk and just say, hey, like really quick, what is this or how do I get this document or you know something like that but instead you normally have to slack and hope it's the right person that you're asking and stuff like that so sometimes it can take a while to get that information well in the office you could just walk over to someone's desk and easily ask them a question and obviously working from home there isn't a big separation between work and home so work and relaxation so I feel like you really have to be very mindful of that and have a set workspace and then have a set relaxation space. Like as you guys can see, I'm in my bedroom now. I'm very relaxed in this environment, but you'll notice that my don't work in this room. I don't work um, in my bedroom. I don't have a desk in here. Nothing about this room is work centered. It's all about really relaxation. My fiance and I both work from home. We had to get a second bedroom when we moved to Florida just because I work from home and he works from home. So he works in the living area. We have like a little desk nook. So that's his set workspace. And then my desk is in the second room. So it's the guest room and that's totally fine because to me that room is really just my office. And if someone comes over, they're welcome to stay in the guest room, but it's mainly my office so I know that's my sit workspace and then to kind of go along with that sometimes it can be hard to shut off for the day or the week I know it's very tempting when you get emails or um, slacks coming in at 8 or 9 p.m. or even on the weekends to quickly respond but you really have to be mindful that you are not working right now <laughs> you know this is your weekend or this is your relaxation time this is your night time you know if it's something that's not urgent it really can wait till the morning and so I am someone who actually has I could practically work off my phone I have Outlook and Slack and Teams all on my phone just because I like being able to if I had to run out on an errand or go to a doctor's appointment be able to still be working but obviously it's not ideal because come the weekend sometimes I get slack messages or sometimes I'm getting emails sent to my phone at 8 or 9 p.m. at night so I just have to be really mindful of that and with my job normally it's nothing urgent it's just someone replying to me who didn't have opportunity earlier in the day so yeah that's definitely a con is you've really got to be mindful you've got to shut off your computer you know close your office door and really just say you're done so sometimes working from home can be a little bit lonely i am very fortunate that my fiance also works from home so i always have someone in the apartment with me you know i have someone i can talk to sure it's not really about like work related stuff but i know like he's always you know in the room next to me i think if i was just living by myself and working from home the house would be very quiet. So I would say, you know, if you are someone who works from home, you know, definitely put on some music. Um, there's some really good, like, relaxation, chill study beats that sometimes I like to work to if you don't want to be in the silence. But I'd say I'm sure it can get pretty lonely. So if you're someone who works from home, just... Um, if you're someone wanting to work from home and you live alone, like you might need to consider that you're not really having interaction with anyone during the day and then obviously come nighttime you're alone as well. So I think it can get quite lonely for some people. Probably don't have everything you would normally have in an office. So for the past seven months I've been working just off a laptop and off an Ikea desk that, you know, we built ourselves with um, and, a, and a, oh my gosh, and an Ikea desk that we really just built ourselves. So now I'm finally investing in some work from home stuff because I found that I'm so much more productive if I actually have a proper setup. So I went and invested in a standing desk, which will be in a video coming soon. 
um, that actually just arrived today. So I'm so excited to set that up. But again, that's something my work did not pay for. Um, and some companies may pay for it. My job did not pay for it, but they did offer to send me a monitor, a keyboard, a mouse, um, and just stuff like that to improve my work from home setup. But just keep that in mind that if you were, you know, working in the office, you wouldn't have to pay for all that stuff. It would just be there ready for you. But if you're working from home, you don't really have um, a good setup, or at least a good setup that you really need to be productive. Okay, so before my lunch break ends and I have my next meeting, let's really talk about one of the pros that I have really loved about working from home and I really couldn't do this obviously if I was working in the office so with working from home I really am able to work from anywhere and this has really allowed me to really work from as I just said from anywhere I've had the opportunity to be so flexible um, with my job and where I'm located my company is based in Connecticut but I I currently live in Florida so I have the flexibility to be able to live in a completely different state from the rest of my team. I also have, you know, the luxury of going and visiting family who live in New England and going to spend time with them and being, ab being able to bring just a laptop with me and work from home, which is amazing because it means during the day I get to work and then once I'm done, I really get to spend the rest of my day with my family, which has been such a blessing. Obviously, living in a different state, it's been nice being able to go and visit them whenever I want and not have to take time off before I jump into this meeting is um, that some businesses, and obviously this doesn't go for every work from home job, but some businesses really allow you to be really flexible with your day. So some companies like mine, they allow you to really start whenever you want. You could start your work day earlier than 8 or 9 a.m. if you wanted and end earlier or you could start it, you know, later if you wanted or work, you know, early in the morning, take off, you know, maybe lunch or the afternoon because you want to be with your kids and then continue working in the evening. My company really doesn't mind. You obviously just have to make your meetings. So, you know, I can't exactly say, oh, I'm going to end at four if I have a meeting at four. So you guys get it. But it's just really nice to be flexible. Um, I never work later than 5 p.m. because I wouldn't want to do that to myself. But I guess if you're someone who wanted to do that or you have kids and you wanted to take off some time to go and pick them up from school or something like that, you could come home and then work that extra hour that you missed. So it's just nice, um, you know, being able to be flexible. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into my last meeting for the day. Um, it's a pretty early meeting, it's a 1pm meeting, but yeah, it's my last meeting and I'm just going to be really diving into work for the rest of the day, really. So I'll talk to you guys at the end of my work day. workday is done the amazing thing like I mentioned before is I don't have any commute time so once 5 p.m. hits I'm able to log off shut down and come straight out and just you know get myself out of that room and really go and do whatever I want to do normally um, once 5 p.m. hits I am depending on the weather I'm out sitting at the pool or I'll go work out with Justin or we'll go for a walk sometimes we'll go to the beach or dinner dinner or anything like that um, so it's just really nice having that flexibility. I think today I'm actually just going to edit this video because I want it to be up for you guys tomorrow. So for me, I'm going to edit and then I think probably build my standing desk. Here's a little sneak peek at it, but it arrived today. So I'm so excited. So again, just another pro of working from home. As soon as I'm done with the day, I don't have a commute and I can do whatever I want and my, <laughs> my night is free. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys are someone you know who's looking to work from home or you just want to know more about working from home or you already do <laughs> work from home and you just wanted to watch this video i hope you guys found this really interesting if you liked this video of course go ahead and subscribe and you guys can follow me on all my social media platforms all my links are always down below and yeah other than that i will see you guys all in my next video that one's going to be my work from home setup with my new desk so stay tuned for that video i'm so excited to show you my dude my new desk i'm 
so excited to build it tonight. So yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye everyone.